Hello everyone, welcome to part 149 of Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website. So finally we are going to work on the place order functionality for our Laravel e-commerce website. So in this video we are going to create two tables to manage these orders. One is the orders table we are going to create and another one is the orders underscore products table okay uh, but first of all i'm going to tell you that in the last video we able to uh, able to uh, see complete this checkout page okay we able to finish this delivery addresses we able to manage the multiple delivery addresses user can able to add the multiple delivery addresses user can able to edit any of the address and user can able to delete as well okay uh, we are adjust without the refresh of the page and also we have shown the order summary here we have shown the products that the user want to buy and also we have done this delete functionality here as well in the checkout page the user can able to delete any of the item okay and also the user can able to manage his billing address we are going to show the billing address in the checkout page as well and the user can able to edit the billing address after clicking on this edit button and also we are going to show we have shown in fact that the subtotal shipping tax discount and grand total see shipping and tax module we are going to add very soon after completing this order placement process and now comes to the payment method we are going to work on the first payment method that is the cash on delivery so from this video we are going to start working on the order placement process in laravel and the in this video uh, we are going to create the orders table <clears throat> so first table that we are going to create that is the orders table and the another one that we are going to create that is the orders underscore products table so these two tables we are going to create so in the orders table we are going to create these columns we are going to uh, add these columns like id user id name address city state country pin code mobile email all these information belongs to the uh, to the delivery person not the user but these are the delivery information we can even create the separate table for managing this one it's your choice but we are going to store this one in the orders table only okay so after that shipping charges coupon code coupon amount order status payment method payment gateway grand total as well as created and updated uh, these uh, uh, both columns are required for all uh, laravel tables okay so after uh, creating the orders table then we are going to create the orders underscore products table so orders table going to uh, store the main information of the order and also the uh, the delivery address of the order okay uh, and also the grand total uh, and coupon details as well and payment method as well but the orders underscore products tables going to store the attributes going to store the product details okay product details attribute details of the order like if there are three products in the order then uh, these three products we are going to manage in this orders underscore products table okay so the orders table will have the main information of the order uh, okay and the order underscore products table like the name suggests is going to store the product information of the order okay so here we are going to add like order id user id product id product code product name product color product size and also we're going to store the product x sku this time as well okay so it will help us to identify that uh, which uh, particular sku is order for which particular product is order for which particular attribute is order for so sku means stock keeping unit okay so this one uh, we uh, will store as well so along with that product quantity and these two columns automatically gets created okay so let's create these two tables straight away with the help of the migration command and also we are going to create the models as well both for the order as well as the order uh, underscore products table so uh, let's start creating this table uh, but before creating the tables one more thing i want to tell you like uh, uh, here there uh, we are want to add one condition here like uh, if in case the user deletes these products like uh, like the user if delete the products from here okay from the checkout page uh, he can see that uh, only one product is left and he also deletes this checkout page the last uh, product is also get deleted so here is no products are left so uh, so if the if there are no products in the in the card 
okay in, in the card then we are going to redirect back the user to the card pair so so this condition we are going to add first of all after that we are going to create the table because this this condition is necessary uh, so that's why uh, it just come to my mind so that's why uh, this condition is very important so we are going to add one more condition here after this one uh, we are going to check or in fact we can add at the top uh, for this condition first thing is that we want to check here uh, here first of all i'm going to get the user card item we are going to, we are required to check the user card items okay i'm going to do one thing i'm going to here cut from here and here i'm going to paste because our condition depends upon the, this user card items here we are going to add like if uh, dollar uh, if count uh, dollar get card items equal to equal to zero so in this case uh, what will happen we are going to send the message uh, here like uh, shopping car is empty uh, please add products to check out okay return uh, redirect uh, redirect to the card page okay redirect to the card page and with this error message with error message so now we are going to check here like if i will refresh the user will get redirected to the card page okay so that uh, user can able to add some products to the card so he can't able to open the checkout page like if i will try to open the checkout page once again but uh, it will come back to the card page but the error message is not showing because we are not uh, 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 they are displaying the error message so that's why uh, we are going to display the error message there like uh, we are displaying here i'm going to copy this one and there as well under section here only i think we can give the error message let's see okay so if the user will try to click on proceed to checkout then the he will get the error message shopping card is empty please add products to checkout okay so it's fine uh, but i think that uh, uh, i think it's uh, i'm going to try uh, this one not here but uh, uh, i will reduce its width like style width 20% then I'm going to check how it looks let's see <coughs> uh, yeah we also want to reduce from there so I think we need to put it in another div div align center uh, after that we are going to see yeah now it's better and even we can reduce further okay fine so if there are no products in card then he can't able to check out okay so first uh, the products are required to add so now we are going to add some of the products once again I'm going to add these two products okay added and I will add the another product as well I will go there uh, I think we have added the blue t-shirt yeah now we are going to add 
another product as well i will also add the medium three products we are going to add so i will go there view card so now this time it must allow to go to the checkout page yes it's fine now this time we read the checkout page and here you can see the products uh, we able to uh, see in the order summary okay with the scroll okay so now it's fine uh, now the customer will select the cash on delivery and will click on place order and for that we are uh, going to create two tables and one is the orders table and one is the orders and underscore products table like i have explained earlier uh, okay so both these tables we are going to create with the migration command so let's start creating the tables okay so i'm going to run first migration command i will go to my project folder uh, where it is zap uh, st docs uh, where is my project folder uh, project 10 here it is right click i'm going to right click services new terminal at folder okay and now i'm going to check uh i'm going to see uh, i'm going to now uh, first create the migration file uh for creating the tables okay so first migration file i'm going to create uh for creating the orders table that is the main table okay php artisan make migration and create uh orders table first of all we're going to create for the main information of the order create orders table so i'm going to open this file I'm going to close uh, the earlier files, okay? Now create orders table, and here I'm going to add all the columns like I have mentioned earlier. So I'm going to add all the columns here. Table in here user ID. After that, we are going to add string or oh, okay. So, I'm going to add all the column. I'm going to do it like this after name. We are going to add here address, then city, then state, then country, then uh, pin code. Uh, for all uh, name address city state country pin code and then mobile <coughs> after that email as well and then uh, shipping charges we're going to add shipping charges and here this value of this one is float after that uh, we're going to see uh, shipping charges coupon code then coupon amount coupon code then coupon amount okay so coupon code for coupon code uh, uh, as well as string is fine okay after that coupon amount and then we are going to add coupon amount and coupon amount we are going to have the float value once again okay so uh, after that order status and payment gateway okay order status and payment gateway order status payment method and payment gateway order status uh, status uh, then uh, payment method payment gateway and after that the last one that is the float value grand total okay so these are the uh, columns for the orders table okay uh, just check once again uh, interior user id string name address city state country pin code mobile email uh, then shipping charges coupon code uh, coupon amount order status payment method payment gateway grand total okay so everything simple fine php artisan migrate okay so i'm going to run this command to create the 
the products uh, the orders table finally okay so let's see here I'm going to refresh here and we'll see that the orders table has been created or not uh, see where it is here it is okay so we able to create the orders table here okay so I'm going to check it once yes the tables have been created uh, table orders table is created with all the required columns so now we are going to create the model for the orders table as well okay so I'm going to give here the command php addition uh, make model order model for the orders table so after this we are going to create now the uh, orders underscore products table uh, like I have mentioned earlier uh, that there are two tables we are required to create one is the orders table and another one is order under underscore products table so, so for storing the attributes details of the orders for the products and attribute details of the orders. so for that uh, we are going to create orders underscore products table so now I'm going to create the migration file for orders underscore products table PFP addition make migration create underscore orders underscore products underscore table so the migration file has been created I'm going to open create underscore orders underscore products underscore table so here also I'm going to add all the required columns uh, like uh, starting with the uh, user ID as well as the product ID I'm going to check uh, this one okay first one is the order ID then uh, user ID table uh, here uh, order, order ID then user ID sorry here we are going to add in tier then order ID so here as well in tier then user ID after that one more uh, and that is the product ID as well so after that uh, oh, see order ID done user ID product ID after that all string uh, so I'm going to add here string we add here this uh, product code I'm going to do it like this after that product name Product color product size product SKU uh, product size we are going to take the port value for the product size their product quantity in the okay so now we are going to create uh, the uh, that uh, table with the php artisan migrate command we are going to run uh, see product order products table has been created i'm going i will check order underscore products table this time order underscore products see it has been created and see its structure is ready okay all the required columns we able to create in the orders underscore products table so we will also create the model file for the uh, order underscore products table orders product model file we are going to create for orders underscore products table okay orders product so the model file is also created okay so in next video uh, we are going to finally place the cash on delivery order okay and fill up these orders as well as the orders underscore products tables so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye